Hello everybody and welcome to this awesome doll review. So it's a doll review for Way to Wonderland Lizzie Hart. Oh, well, that wasn't supposed to. Just Lizzie. I mean. Okay, I just got her yesterday, so I'm really excited. Yeah, 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 and yep. So I'm gonna start out by showing you her excess, well, like the things that come inside the box. Anyway, so she comes with this book um, slash card thingy, and inside the box there was a sign for you to do it that said "Read me." So, I'm guessing this is important. And let's see what this side is. <gasps> this diploma, this diploma, this diploma. Certificates that Lizzie Hartz is a graduate of Wonderland High School. So that is on one side, and this is on the other. So you are invited to celebrate with all of Wonderland the unbirthday first party of, que of the Queen of Hearts. Location Card Castle. RSBP. Provided by graduation or off with your heads. Okay, so this is a story and I will read it out loud and you can look at the doll. As the rightful heir to Wonderland throne, I swear upon all my cards that I will graduate from Wonderland High. I must solve this riddle to know what final class to take. It stretch this is the riddle. It stretches out forever into either direction. It's never wrong. You can't argue perfection. The order is fixed. It'll never change. The answer may differ if the parts rearrange. The answer to the riddle is easy. Is as easy as one, two, three. Why it's math class, of course. Allow me to explain. Numbers stretch out into either direction. Infinity. Infinitely. Think about the largest number you know. There's one even larger than that. Math is never wrong because it's not based off a All you need to do is figure out the an uh, uh, figure out the answer waiting for you. The order of the numbers is always fixed. However, you can rearrange the numbers the equation and the answer equation might be different off with off with this riddle okay so I might have not pronounced some words there but yeah this is her, her. trying to get the camera to focus on her card so yeah she's very pretty but as you can see there's like no resemblance um you know Okay, well, those are resemblance, and those have red hearts, and those don't, and that's attached, and, well, the teal shirt, they got it right, but, yeah, she doesn't have that weird cage pillowing out of her dress. So, anyway, let's get started. Yes. We're gonna start out with her hair first. So, on top of her hair, um... It's like gel into this little roll like shape. And then she has a headband attached to a swan crown. And I love this swan crown. It's so pretty. And that she has a swan head. And her hair is attached to her neck piece. And her earrings, they are chess pieces. Yeah. I'll take one off so you can see. Sorry, this is hard to do it with one hand holding the camera and the other one. Not. Okay. Okay. Oh, I dropped out. Okay, so this is what the earring looks like. If the camera would like to focus on it. Anyway, it has a heart in the top, and then it's like in a queen shape, so. Sorry, this is actually really hard to do. I'm going to do it. Okay, one second. 
I'm sorry. Thank you, Lizzie. Anyway, she has long black hair and a little head piece, and then she has a stand which is um, clear on these parts, but it's black on the bottom. Then turn her back around so she can actually. Okay. So she has. So, her face apparently. So, yeah, she has cute blue eyes, bright black lipstick inside of her eyes. The white, the shine is a heart, and then around her eye, there's a red heart, as usual. And here is her golden heart neck piece. Oh, It's actually attached to her headdress. And it has red hearts on it, so yep. And moving on to her arms. She has black gloves with these little cuff things on them. And then she comes with the purse, which... Okay, well, it can open. But, but yeah, it can. And then her other hand, she has another glove with the cuff. But she has a hedgehog ring with a golden... Hedgehog ring, if I can get this camera won't focus. Oh. Anyway, so after her teal shirt, you have a red and like pink print thing, and these are actually two pieces the top and the bottom. As you can really see it here. So on the bottom, you can pull this out of the way properly. You. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're starting to see it. Okay. There's a teal skirt under there. She has black leggings. And I'll do her shoes later. Her skirt is basically the same as the top. But it has gold pearls. Hearts. Cards. And hearts. And more hearts. And just a hundred hearts. Oh god, there's so much hearts in this. What did I expect? Okay, I'll put her legs in a different position. This is a really weird position. And fashion for checkered print and hearts. With a big heart on the top. Yeah. Hearts. Main part of the shoe is checker print and it has some hearts on the side with the cards and on the top. She comes with you know hammer and a hairbrush, but um I put the hairbrush somewhere else and now let's take a look at this background. I got this out of her box and it says Lucy Hearts on the top. There is some normal land and then it goes into checker print into yellow, purple, blue, and dark purple and black on the bottom. So, so there you have it. Lizzie Hearts and her background are both beautiful. And today, nobody's head will get chopped because Lizzie got revealed. Lizzie is also one of my favorite dolls, so. I'm gonna see if I can open her purse now. Oh, I did it! So inside of her purse, it says, it's counting by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. And then, I like her really like the front of like this clock thing. It's so pretty. There's like no room for storage in there, so. Yeah, Lizzie can't carry anything. Unless you want to like do stop motion. Where she randomly pulls something out of her per out of her clock like purse. Anyway, off with the heads! No, no, Lizzie, calm down. Oh, okay, Lizzie. Um, thanks you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um. 
Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow or later. I don't know which one will come first, but, you know. And if you look on my Madeline Hatter vlogs, yeah, there might be a Madeline Hatter.